Police in Malaysia have uh, broken their nearly week-long silence on who could have been responsible for the death of Kim Jong-un's half-brother Kim Jong-nam. They say all the key male suspects are North Korean nationals. The South Korean government also says the hit was ordered by Pyongyang. Connie Kim has our top story. Malaysia's police are on the hunt for four North Korean suspects in connection with the apparent murder of Kim Jong-un's half-brother, Kim Jong-nam. Speaking at the first news conference since Kim's death on Monday, Malaysia's Deputy Inspector General of Police, Tan Sri Noor Rashid Ibrahim, confirmed that all four had left Malaysia on the day of the murder, but did not reveal which countries they had gone to. The four have been identified as North Koreans between the ages of 33 and 57. Lee Ji Hyun, Hong Song Hak, Oh Jong Gil, and Lee Jae Nam. It has been revealed that none of the four were carrying a diplomatic passport. Citing senior police officials, Singapore's Channel News Asia reported the suspects already arrived in Pyongyang on Friday by way of Jakarta, Indonesia, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and Vladivostok, Russia. Three other people are being sought to help with the investigation as well, one of whom has been identified as a North Korean. So far, four people have been arrested in the killing of Kim Jong-nam. A woman holding a Vietnamese passport identified as Duan Thi Hong. An Indonesian woman named Siti Aya. Her Malaysian boyfriend, Muhammad Farid Jalaluddin. And also Lee jong Chol, the first North Korean to be caught. South Korea had kept quiet about who could have been behind Kim Jong-nam's death, but on Sunday had this to say in an emergency press briefing. A final result of the investigation will be released at some point, but taking into account various facts and circumstances, South Korea is certain that the person assassinated in Malaysia was Kim Jong-nam. Also, because five of the suspects are North Koreans, we believe this was the work of the North Korean regime. Kim Jong-nam's autopsy report has not yet been released. A senior Malaysian official said the first examination was inconclusive, so a second one was necessary. The toxicological report is not expected anytime soon either. It's expected to take two weeks to determine the cause of death. And Malaysia's health ministry reportedly says it'll not release the results until it finds something conclusive. Connie Kim, Adang News.